What is going on, guys? This is your boy, Apathy, and today we're going to be showing you guys the best class setups, the best pro class setups, but we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. We're also going to be showing you guys the best non uh, pro classes, aka classes uh, that don't have the band attachments, RNG8, or whatever the case is. So we're going to be going through a list of everything. I'm going to go in detail, talk about some things, talk about the perks, talk about the attachments. So let's get right into it. I don't want to waste any more of your time. So let's get right into the class. Now, the MP40 is the best SMG in the game. I don't have to tell you guys that. You guys probably know it. Every pro uses it. Everyone uses it. It's just so good overall. Has all the things you want on it. Kills fast. Good recoil control. Good movement speed. Good sprint out time. So the best SMG. We got the fighting knife. A knife basically can sprint out for two times longer. So it's really good, especially to rush, especially to get to places faster. Um, usually you want to have your knife out. So it's very good to use. And obviously you can one knife somebody uh for the perks now this is more of a respawn class we are rocking a survival training uh basically for respawn because you have the field upgrade dead silence so you can kind of get away with using no ninja so survival training obviously is like tack mask is really good in respawn then we got radar and double time which are basically really good uh, perks and then we got grenades and stun grenades because gamma bombs are currently not allowed at the pro level so we got to rock the frag grenade and stun grenade so these are my perks i'm rocking this is more of a respawn because of survival training but other than that it's pretty much a go-to um for the attachments we got the f8 stabilizer this is obviously some uh accuracy and damage range helps with the bloom we got the 317 mm barrel uh, this is a personal preference. Uh, we have the ISO 2M uh, iron sight. You can also run the ISO 1M. Usually, like, yes, it helps your ADS speed a little bit. You can see it increases it a little bit, which is nice. Um, people just also like the iron sight. Um, if you really aren't a fan of, you can just run the, the, the basic iron sight. So it really depends. I'm really a big fan of the ISO 2. So that's the one I like to use. Um, we got the folding. Obviously, no brainer for sprint to fire speed and movement speed. We got what I like to call the smile pistol grip, sprint to fire speed again, hit fire accuracy, which is nice. No magazine because the damage rounds are banned. Uh, we got the lengthened, a good huge boost of bullet velocity, fabric grip for more ADS sprint to fire speed and, and hit uh, fire recoil recovery. And then we got brace, which is nice for more and then quick for more sprint. So this is attachments that pros are running pretty much in every class. Best attachments to run, um, kind of uh, just a do it all SMG. Now, if you're playing search, the only difference you would do is run Ninja. So Ninja is the perk you obviously want to run um, over survival training. Now, there is situations where running fortify or survival training more so fortify. Like if you're a bomb planner, um, you can run dead silence as a field upgrade. So you can get away with running these perks. Obviously, you got to do it at the right time, right place, right map. But you can get away with running flak. Run flak. Make sure you have dead silence field upgrade and then you can get away. But other than that, for search, same attachments. So nothing really changes with attachments on the MP40. Same go-to, same things. Knife is huge with double time, rush routes. Um, the only difference is most of the time you will be running Ninja. Ninja is a no-brainer. Uh, you can do a lot with Ninja. And then for the only difference with the, between this class, I love how it says go faster, but the only difference between this class is the fact that it has a smoke grenade. So smokes are obviously really good. Um, the exact same class. The only difference is the smoke grenades. You can use it to smoke out crosses, to rush a, a rush a site, uh, bait. Weight bombs, really good, uh, obviously, to use in search. For the next class, we got what I like to call the Automaton. One of the best ARs in the game. Has a lot more strafing speed, for sure. We got the F8 Stabilizer. We got the Anastasia Sniper. I, hopefully, I said that right. I mean, this is like, look at this. 54% extra damage range, 40% extra bullet velocity, 10% horizontal recoil. I mean, you want this on AR. Uh, we rocking the Slate. We got the skeletal, very, very good strafe premium speed. It's amazing. Uh, we got the hand stop. We got the lengthened. We got the fabric grip. We got the tight grip, which is obviously nice. And then we got on hand, only the really good one. You can run fully loaded if you want, but only the really good one for this one. Um, just throw your tax extremely fast, which can be uh, beneficial. It's very situational, but it can help. So this is Automaton, one of the best ARs in the game. This gun shreds. This gun is really good. Strafing speed is really nice, and it can still beam. So these are attachments to what all the pros are running. Um, same thing, knife, ninja, radar, double time, frag, and stun grenade. Uh, like I said, if you're playing um, in a maybe in a riskier spot or you're playing more aggressive or even a respawn, you can always put fortified or you know whatever the case is. But if you're playing search, most of the time you want to run ninja. And that brings me to the STG STG, another great assault rifle in the game. Um, this is more of a straight beamer, really good for post up gunfights. Um, obviously, the automaton has more strafe and speed. The, the STG is more of a beamer. Again, same perk, same same like basically secondary everything. 
um buffered attachments let's get right into it that we got the fa stabilizer more damage range again we got the fdd 760 mm05b i really don't know where to come up with these names i wonder what that all means i mean i guess i have an idea what they mean oh uh, we got the slate reflector we got the weighted stock we got the m3 ready grip um really nice we got the lengthened we got the fabric grip we got the vital vital is so good now in the ga rules i'm not gonna lie um that is banned <laughs> so you want to technically take this out so you can use focus which is nice flinch resistance uh honestly um i would say yeah focus would probably be the best one out of all this so i would run focus and then we got on hand now a good thing about the weighted you already get two plus flinch resistance focus you get another one plus i mean someone shoots you it don't matter you're just beaming them and for the last class, I know a lot of people probably ask this or wonder what it is. We got the Sniper, the Car 98K. This thing is OP. Auto aim pull is actually insane in Vanguard. Uh, we got the F8 Stabilizer uh, for the damage range, accuracy again. Always such a nice attachment if you're not using, you know, the OP stuff. Uh, we got the FDD 600 MM055 He um, <laughs> Barrel uh, for the optic sight. So you can kind of get actually kind of mix you with this there's people who run the four times three times like depends if you want to run a small scope you i can actually get away with some of these uh search kids have used these before um like the 2.5s and all this but if you're trying to use like a regular scope just use no optic just use a regular sniper scope uh we got the short stock for the stock we got the smile like i call it smile pistol grip um we have the 8 m clouser three round mag we got the fmj rounds we got the leather grip um and then we got the quick scope and then we got the deep breath now i know some of you guys are wondering why fmj over lengthened lengthened is also good i mean it gives you a little more bullet velocity but it's a sniper it already has high bullet velocity a lot of times by the time you shoot it's going to hit the shot um fmj rounds you can hit some crazy wall bank shots and stuff like that but you can run lengthened if you want and then we got quick scope like i said and then we got deep breath obviously pretty much a must for snipers another another good thing to actually know is some people have you shrouded before because the glint thing that's pretty cool if you're trying to be like sneaky or like hidden but a uh, quick scope is also really nice to if you're trying to be more uh, just challenge aggressive not really worried that they know you have a sniper for our next thing we got the rat this pistol is insane but we're going to talk about the non g8 uh or yeah the g8 version first so we got the f8 stabilizer we have the impress a barrel impress 129 mm the boat to bo3 dt we got the rapid action shoot it super fast we got the hollow points we got the fabric grip we got the fleet and quick super 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 good movement speed you can see 11.8 miles per hour i think that's faster than a uh, knife i'm pretty sure let's check it real quick okay you can't even check it i know it's faster than a knife it's faster than smgs you can check the mp40 real quick 11.4 so that pistol is really fast um but this pistol is honestly insane it's about a three bullet kill almost anywhere um yeah very very strong but that's pretty much it and this for cyber class same thing ninja radar double time a frag and smoke obviously you can run a stun as well stuns or smokes just depends on what you're doing for your team and what's better so those are all the best classes but now let's go very quickly and show you like a, a more op version of them and stuff that aren't banned or g8 or whatever so uh for this if you want to make the mp40 better you put a recoil booster for higher fire rate and then you put the 32 round damage mags this thing kills so freaking fast so this kind of lowers the fire rate but this increases the fire rate so essentially they almost um they almost like counter each other but you still have the huge damage to a bullet so this is like a three bullet kill at, at pretty much any almost any range uh not any range i kind of gassed that obviously they're really far it's not three bullet kill but it has a three bullet shot kill at a good range so this is what you would use for the mp40 um if you're using non-gas and stuff that are allowed even in snd tournaments that that mp40 so you'd rock obviously on every mp40 for the automaton the only difference that you can really do that's beneficial because damage round mags are banned in all tournaments no matter if it's pro level or non-pro level so you can't really use the damage round mag but you could put on the recoil booster for even more fire rate now some people say the damage six percent damage uh range isn't a big difference the recoil booster you know five percent obviously to shoot faster can make a difference in some gunfights so put on the recoil booster and that's pretty much it for the automaton uh, the automaton i love calling that um another good thing actually is the frenzy um I'm pretty sure it's not banned in tournaments. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the chat. But the Frenzy is also really good. Um, you get a kill, insta heal, and it's really nice to have. But if not, just keep using tight grip. And then when we go to the SCG. Now, this is why a lot of people like using the SCG and why it's kind of considered broken. So 
But you can put the recoil booster if you want. Again, stabilizer. This does have lower dam uh, damage range. You can see it's 25 um, instead of like higher. You can run the recoil booster, whichever fits. I don't know, whichever you like more. I'm a big fan of recoil booster, but stabilizer can be kind of good, especially with a plus two to accuracy, which it just depends. Um, this you see like this has negative one accuracy. Um, the bloom is also really, really pretty straight with SCG, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I like the recoil booster, and then this what breaks. This is why the SCG is so broken. Why pros hate it. this uh, perk and love it. They hate, I guess hate it. Plus one increased area for critical hits. So if you shoot in the upper chest or head, it's basically a three shot kill every time. You implode people with vital. Um, this is actually allowed in tournaments and whatnot. Other than at the pro level, they don't use it because it's that OP. Um, but if you want to, you know, destroy people, put vital on. Trust me. And then for the last thing, the rat. The rat. Oh my God. Trust me when I say this. Put this thing on. This thing is so broken. This thing basically can can two you can two shot people with a rat. And then three shot at so many ranges. At so many ranges. This damage drawn mag, especially with hollow point. Can almost allow I, th I think it is a two shot kill almost at any range. Well, not any range, sorry, sorry. Close up ranges. You can two shot people. And it could three shot. Two to three shot. And it shoots really fast. This is a mini shotgun. This thing is broken with this. But yeah. Those those are stuff that are technically not, not allowed. But that's it. And then obviously, if you want to get even more freaky, you can put on gamma bombs. Gamma bombs are pretty broken. They're like a semtex on steroids. Um but other than that, those are those are basically the classes. Those are the attachments. And, you know, wood GAs are not like non-band attachments and band attachments and whatnot. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Breaking down the classes, showing you guys the class setups and, you know, showing you both sides of things. Obviously, depending on what you're playing, depending on what class you want. Hopefully, this video is very informative and helpful to you guys. It means a lot if you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And comment down below what other videos you guys would like to see. Um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. This has been your boy Apathy, and I'm out. Oh, don't forget, I also stream at twitch.tv slash apathy so you guys can check that out. And I also have another channel called Apathy Shorts. Okay, love y'all. Peace.